Why am I still not married to my boyfriend after five years? Hi everyone, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Well, isn't this the question that a lot of people want to know the answer to? Because there's so many couples that have been together for quite a long time and they're not married yet and they're wondering if it's ever going to happen. So in the first year or so of your relationship, you should have some boundaries and some expectations as to what you want for your future. And that goes for both of you. And it's something that should be talked about. You shouldn't just say, oh no, we'll get to it later, I don't want to scare them off. They need to know and you need to know what's going to happen down the road. Are you playing house for 10 years, five years, or are you going to actually get married and maybe have kids? This is something today that people really need to know the answer to. No one wants to spend, you know, three, four or five years with every single person that they're, they're dating if they're looking for a committed partnership. So you can't be quiet for too long. I really, really communicate this to my clients that if you have something that's really important to you, you need to address it. Don't bury it and think, oh, what's the big deal? It is a big deal because five years goes down the road that your partner says, well, I've never really wanted to get married. We never really discussed it. So now, I, now that you're asking me, no, I don't really want to do this. And you've invested five years with somebody. So if you're still not married after five years or engaged or you haven't talked about it, that's on you because you have to you know, have some conversation that's out there that expresses what you want. And if you're sitting there waiting for your partner to express it, well, that's not right because they may not want the same things you want. And if you don't talk about it, how do you know what each of you wants? So if you're still in a situation with somebody five years and it's never been talked about, you're living together, Sometimes people aren't even living together and they've been together for five years. But if you're living together and you're just sort of sitting there waiting for the engagement ring to appear on your left hand or your right hand, depending where you're from, that's not really a good thing. You need to talk about it. There needs to be a mutual discussion on what is important to both of you. So you really shouldn't have to ask the question after five years because you should know the answer to that. You should have something that you have both come to a great decision about and you're not sitting there five years later wondering what's going on. Are you guys going to get married? Are you going to have children together? All the stuff that maybe in your heart has always been there and maybe it's not in theirs. You don't wait five years to talk about it. This is happening a lot. There's five to seven year uh, relationships and I'm getting a lot of emails about this where people are spending this time and just not making it a big deal. Well, it is a big deal because it's your future. And if you're dating somebody at 25 and you're with them at 30 or 32, 33, you wanna have kids and you're not even close to that happening, well, you've just invested a lot of time with somebody that doesn't wanna have kids. If they say they don't want something and you're just holding on waiting for it, thinking they'll change their mind, that's dangerous. So listen to what they say. Don't wait too long to figure out what you want to talk about here. It's, it's your life too. So many people think, well, I don't want to scare them off, so I don't want to say anything. Say something. It's okay. If you've been together for a year or two years, or you need to know if there's a future. Because why are you investing your energy and your time and your love and your heart with somebody if they don't really want the same things you do? So get your boundaries set up pretty quickly. And I'm not saying you're going to go on and talk to them in the first two months. That's, that's ridiculous. But within six months to a year, you want to know you're in the same page. And if you're hanging around five, seven years not knowing the answer to this question, there's been no discussion on it at all. I would tell them right then and there, this is what's important to you. If they say, mm, not for me, I would strongly suggest that you make some decisions on moving on because it's probably not going to happen. So thanks for your question. Please keep your questions coming to Dear Cyber Sue at YouTube here. Thanks for my new subscribers. I really appreciate you all. And thank you for taking the time to comment and like my video. Thanks everyone. Bye.